Hey, Relic Red here, and I just wanted to go over um, a tutorial on the face poser for Vista users and Vista 64 users, because it um, seems like we're having a lot more problems with face poser than XP has been having. Um, granted, the speech extraction still doesn't work as far as I've seen, but um, hey, if anyone's figured out a way, post a video response or just a regular response and let the rest of us know. But, um, this is just for the Vista users and stuff that can't get things into Hammer working right. Okay, so um, first off, you're going to have to save whatever sound file you're using um, into your Half-Life directory. You can get this sound file however, but you do want it set up a certain way. Um, you want it set to 44100 kilohertz, and you want it set at 16-bit. So those are two things that you're definitely going to want to set on your uh, sound files. I'm not sure if the 32-bit doesn't work, but I know the 16-bit definitely does work. So what you'll do is you'll come into your um, Steam email folder. If you're doing, say, Half-Life 2, click Half-Life 2, go into the Half-Life, the HL2 folder, and then you can save your sound under Sounds, or you could save it again under Scenes. <coughs> Or, if you're doing Episode 2 like me, it's a little bit different. you got to click Half-Life 2 Episode 2, then click EP2. Now in here, mine didn't default come with a Scenes and Sound folder, so I had to make both of those. And the Scenes folder is where I save my choreographed scenes too. And I also put the sound in there. And the Sound folder also. So yeah, save all your scenes and your sounds um, in there. Okay. Now you come in here to the face poser. And you come down here to Phonome Editor. Or you can come up to Window up here. And there's one right there also. Um, you come down here to Load. And then you choose what sound that you wanted. Um, I'm gonna go with Smash 1 because that's what I already have here made. <coughs> so it's gonna load your wave in, into here but you're not gonna have any words up here. You're gonna have to click re-extract and that's gonna bring up a dialog box that looks like this. And you'll type in word for word what your w wave file says and then hit OK. Um, for some XP users this is going to extract the words and it will actually try and put the words with what is being said. But of course for Vista it doesn't work. Or at least for me it doesn't work and what I've read it's not working for anybody else. So, you highlight your word up here. Right click it. There's going to be an option right here that says add phonome to and then their name's Hulk. So that's going to let you add a phonome, which is looks like this. It'll bring up this thing. And what you'll do is you'll use each of these syllables and phonomes, I guess, to um, de develop your person's um, lips matching the words. So I put in HLC, or ha, look. So it, see, it does, it's, it's not word for word, but I mean it looks more like it than if I was going to try to make it you know a little bit more phonetic but um, I went through the entire thing put where I thought each word was emphasized and then I resized everything how you resize is you hold in control and it'll bring up this little arrow thing right here you can bring it back or forth and it'll make it longer or shorter so you take each of these and you make them longer or shorter to go with your wave file. You can hold in shift if you want to move it completely if it's not attached. And then after you get that all set up with each of the words, this is what I got. Oh, let me try starting from the beginning. Okay. So we hit save. What that's going to do is that's going to save um, 
a work file that's associated with the original sound file that's going to help face poser um, use your phonetics with your words. So what we're going to do is go to choreography or choreography go to new um, yes and then we'll name this Hulk smash one it's going to ask you to add an actor. I'm going to type in Casey because that's me. Okay, now we have our actor layer right here. What we're going to do is right click on it, go to new, go to channel. Now you can name this channel anything. The name doesn't directly affect what it does. So we're going to name it Hulk Smash. And it's going to be added to the actor Casey, which is the one we just created. <clears throat> okay, now we have the Hulk Smash layer. If you right click that and go to your WAV file, by this point right here, you should have already saved that WAV file into your Episode 2 folder, like I showed you earlier. Because that's going to be a key part to getting everything working right. So we're going to name it Hulk Smash. And the sound file is named Smash1, because that's what the actual sound file I made is named. And then I'll hit OK. So that's going to bring up this field of information right here. And if I hit play, it works. OK, so this is all set right here for the voice. Now what we're going to do we're going to save as we're going to save save as under choreography save it as Hulk smash one and then save okay now come on under here under file this is an important part that I found for I guess it might just be Vista users because um this is what actually saved me all of my assholes whenever I click rebuild scene image I don't know what it does but it, it makes another file for us and then whenever I put it in the hammer it works whenever I wasn't using this I would everything would be just like it is now in face poser I'd put it in the hammer and then I'd walk on my trigger and nothing would happen and I was really getting frustrated with it so I found this rebuild scene and image button somehow you click that it's gonna build I guess um an alternate file for a hammer to read and then we'll go in the hammer and start messing around with that <laughs> 